Play prop. I've been uh, 269s clear to the Echo Zulu Mike Airport as filed. Climb and maintain 3000, expect 4010 minutes after. Contact Jacksonville Center 127.57, squawk 5510. Clearance void if not off by 2300. We'll notify of intentions no later than 2305. Zulu, current time is 224 and 3 quarters. You too, have a great day. Bye bye. I love it when they say, uh, have a great flight, and I say, you too. <laughs> there it is. All right, put in our uh, squawk, please. And we, uh, we got a little bit of time, so not a huge rush. You got the clearance? Yep. All right, good deal. So, yeah, so current time is, uh, 2349 now, and, uh, I got 11 minutes to get out of here. All right, so we have 127.57, that's on standby. We're currently uh, on 124.55, which is our CTAF frequency. So whenever you're ready, um, everything's set, before landing checklist. Forget when we get on there. Yeah. I am gonna grab my sunglasses though. Sure. It's gonna be. Yeah. Put this right out there. And we'll we bug 3000, good. All right, lights, camera, action, fuel pump, landing light, strobes. Uh, I don't see anybody coming down the opposite end. Uh, final looks clear. Base looks clear. Eastman traffic, traffic midnight 269, department runway 2, departure to the south. Even. All right, that works. And you want to follow and get the radios, or do you want to divvy it up? It's up um, to you. Hey, you're doing good. So. Yeah, I'll probably do it unless I yeah. can't hear something, I'll let you know. That's fine with me. If, if you miss anything, I'll, I'll just uh, be back up for you. Just feel my leg. It's a little weird. All right, runway two, I see it on the paint. Let's get on center line. The heading checks, right? Yep, there's a second off the runway two. Can you do a left turn out there? Yeah, that's fine. All right, so we're doing a left downward departure. Back. Yep. Engine RPMs in the green, fuel flow, oil pressure, oil temps in the green. Airspeed's coming alive. All right, oil pressure, temperature, fuel flow, HG, RPM, airspeed, good. Keep that right rudder in there. Some traffic, midnight 269 on the upland runway 2. We'll be making a left turn out to the uh, south, climbing 3000 Eastman. All right, just because he said he was in the downwind to see somebody on like a six mile final or so, too. We can go ahead and just start a left turn out now. Eastman traffic, midnight 269, recommending our left turn out to the south now. He's been it's just Pablo and them out there, I guess. Traffic, Carolina 9 is doing the power for the one way through there. We'll get above traffic pattern altitude and then we'll uh, call Jacksonville and we'll um, intercept our original course. Okay. Once again, just remember, you do that because you could have, you know, made that flight plan altitude-wise. There could be some mountains uh, offset and then if you just go direct in or enter like you're not supposed to do, then you could end up, you right. know, running into an right. obstruction. Yeah. That's actually happened in the past. All right, getting them in sight. All the engine gauges look good. You already did the climb checklist. Uh, we can switch over to Jacksonville at this time. I just say Jacksonville, midnight 269, 1,500, climbing 3,000. 
Jacksonville, November midnight two six nine is climbing one thousand five hundred for takeoff. Four. four is a number. Don't yeah. say that. There's one thousand five hundred climbing three thousand. Because if you say four or three thousand, then yeah, that gets sound like yeah, forty three. Sometimes they have trouble picking us up. Uh, we might have to get a little bit higher. Contact, you need to climb maintain 4,000, I'm off-hitter 294. 294, climb and maintain 4,000, midnight 269. Alright, good, you bug 4,000, our altimeter is already set correctly. We're going to center up that needle, right? But we're just gradually intercepting it. Switch over and try our map here. I think the weather was moving west to east, so um, actually it looks like it's moving east to west. We might have a little something down there. It might be uh, might be past it by the time we actually get to the destination, though. So I think it should work out for us. One two six nine or Delta. There's the area of extreme just off your eleven to twelve o'clock, and about one five two zero miles. And then there's the area off your right, one o'clock. And are you going to go kind of in between the two of those, or do you want to go left and west of all of it? All right, sounds good. Yep, you can deviate uh, up to fifteen left and right now. When able, direct to make and advise November six nine or Delta. Telegraph information, Tango, current Albany, Georgia Airport. Little nose down trim. Can I just let go of the yoke and see what she wants to do naturally? Yep, I am not touching it right now. You're not touching it right now? No. Your hands are not on the yoke right now. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm not. <laughs> I know what you're saying. Golf, Tango, Jacksonville, Center, just going to maintain flight level 190. Yeah. Feels good up here, right? Yeah. 72 degrees Fahrenheit. A lot cooler. 43 Golf, Tango. Oh. Now, uh, go ahead, uh, use this big knob and scroll over to Waypoint, WP2, good, Tango, then hit WX uh, with a soft Ocala, key, about five miles good, west so Ocala, 44 minutes ago, the winds were calm, 10 statute miles of visibility, flight, scattered at 12,000, temperature 31, dew point 22, okay. altimeter 299 or 7, and it has automated precipitation discriminator, and then a more, uh, more exact temperature and dew point. And you understand how to read that, right? So you see the temperature is 31 degrees Celsius. Right. So really it's 30.8 and they round it up to 31. 31. Okay. And then the dew point is 21.7 and they round it up to 22. All right, gotcha. So the winds are calm. So we could land on, I believe it's runway 18 or um, 36. So we can do the RNAV 17 if you want. Okay. Like and then just the ILS back in here. That works. Or we can. One three seven Joy at Quebec Jacksonville Center. Just trying to maintain one one eleven thousand. The altimeter. Or we can go around do the ILS and then it's like a straight departure back to. For east. three five, yeah, yeah, that'll probably be better. Somebody else called, not answered. Who was it? Yeah, we'll do that. All right, so. Somebody called, not answered. Who was it, please? Zulu with you, forty five hundred. Right, one Delta Zulu, Jack, center the altimeter at Alma 2993. Five three. Five quest 783 cross 45, 45 miles north of Craig, add and maintain 8,000. Altimeter at the Jack 2996. All right, 45 north at 8,000. Do you have another frequency I'm losing you? Oh, man. I'm going to go to my backup. Flat plus 45 north of Craig at 8,000. Altimeter 2996. So you can see, kind of like when we're going up to North Car uh, South Carolina. Carolina, you can see that huge buildup. And that's yeah. probably what that is right there. Yep. 
It might even be that. It's really far. That's that's already 75 miles out. Yeah, but you can see it pretty far away. I remember we were seeing it like 100 miles out before. That's true. Yeah. Uh, true airspeed 112. Yeah. See, that <laughs> I told him he was like 127. <laughs> no way. <laughs> It's usually right at like 110 or so. Trust me, I fly these planes every single day <laughs> for like five hours a day. Uh, Go ahead and uh, pull up the nearest page just in case we need to get somewhere we know the uh, closest location. Instructions when we go missed uh, 300 on the heading up to 3000. Once we cross Sugva and we're established inbound, we'll descend down uh, to 1800 to Zubar, right? Yep. And then down to minimums after that. Yep. LPV. Yep, okay. Right on time. Sure. Same deal, dot above, you'll slow to 90. Um, once we intercept, power to 1800 RPM. About 500 feet per minute at 90 knots should keep us right on the glide slope. Midnight 269, contact the last 120.9. Switching tower, midnight 269. Say inbound on the RNAV 17. You have to say established RNAV 17. Right off the tower, midnight 269, established on the RNAV. Zero one one seven. Midnight two six nine is right off the tower. Wind one five zero at four. Report zero R. Port zero R midnight two six nine. Is this a uh, precision or a non-precision approach? Non-precision. Yep. Because it doesn't meet those IKO standards, right? You don't know. It's pretty close to fit. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Midnight 269, I'm going by 17, cleared low approach. Cleared low approach, 17, midnight Altitude, the pitch, bleeding off our airspeed. Then once we intercept, we'll uh, set our power. Got a deal, point one away. Power is coming back. 1800 RPM. And we're riding the rail down. Right? Yep. Start doing those call outs. 1700 descending uh, 454.
monitor for 454. Departure midnight 269, miss 1,500, uh, 1,500 climbing 3,000, 300 on the heading. Okay. When you get there. Major current altitude. Mount also departure midnight 269, 1,700 climbing 3,000, 300 on the heading. Midnight 269, that's approach. I did. I'll just say it, just do it. Good. Midnight 269, ready to contact one mile southwest of Bronosta. Say I'll to request in route to Echo Zulu Mike. Um, say, uh, we'll go... 4,000, 5,000? Let's go, uh, 5,000 and just direct to uh, Eastman. Uh, 5,000 direct to Eastman, midnight 269. Midnight 269, come maintain 5,000. You, know, you can expect direct Eastman and uh, passing 3,000. All right, uh, come maintain 5,000, midnight 269. All right, so I have that pulled up, so you'll just have to hit direct enter enter. So we're in, we're in IMC, right? Yep. We lose comms. What do we do? Um, he gave us expect 5,000, or well, I guess just say 5,000 because that's the highest. So we'll climb to 5,000. Yeah. Right now we're being vectored on a heading of 300. He said expect direct, direct Eastman east passing through 3,000. Right? So once we get past once we get past that 3,000, we can go direct Eastman. Midnight 269, you can proceed direct Eastman now. Climb maintain 5,000. Direct Eastman, climb maintain 5,000. Midnight 269. Darling. 